And I'm going to ask Peter and Trisha if they would come. And I'm going to ask us all to stand up for this, especially up there. You that are up there, I want you to put your hand on the back wall. I want you to put your hands on the side wall. I want some of you to put your hands on the side wall. I want uh, some of you who are on the worship team go up there and cover all that up there. Easter, you go. Because we're going to anoint the place and we're going to anoint the stewards of the place. And it's going to become a storehouse. And it's going to multiply. And it's going to increase. You'll see. Now, the Lord showed me this. Uh, there's five dimensions to you starting here that will move out. Okay. Uh, and so that's very key. Now, notice they have an apostolic center. And this is what I want you to see. They'll be anointing people from the center. They'll be anointing people from their ministry. They'll be anointing people out of their ministry that is in their house. And before long, we're all connected with a new anointing. And do you know what the anointing does? Breaks the yoke. Before long, we're going to start seeing yokes break. Now, Father, we thank you for this place here. We thank you you've given us a place together. See, for generations, you know, it was, we let the building become the church. Peter, the Lord says, it's a new day for you. The Lord says, I am doing some things in you that are going to be bright. You're going to see ways to do things you've never seen. You're going to be able to minister in ways you've never been able to minister. You're going to move in ways you've never been able to move. And uh, the Lord said, you're, you have a harvesting anointing. And the Lord said, you're going to be asked to speak in places that you will adjust your message and it will start drawing people in to be connected here in ways you never thought they would be connected here. And the Lord said, you're not going to look at them from a standpoint of being connected uh, to King of Kings. You're going to look at them being connected to this place that God has given you for His glory. And uh, the Lord says, it's going to start spreading in you. You're going to be asked to speak in places that's not just related to church work. So get ready. So, Father, we anoint the place. We say, make it an incredible storehouse. Bring us in. Show us when to gather here. Show us when to run to this place. Father, we say this place will have other places fivefold aligned and connected with it, even as it increases its sphere of authority. And Father, we say when people walk in this place, they'll say, It's a new day for me. So, Father, we loose that anointing here. Father, we set a new anointing on Peter and Tricia, but we decree now there's a place that's been anointed. For us to walk in and stand on. I have a word for this house. Um, as, as Apostle was uh, ministering, the Lord had me uh, focus on the mural that's up here. And uh, I know if a lot of you hear the teachings of Rabbi Hadler, he says that this woman's name is Fotina. And I hear the Lord saying over this house that I'm sending the sons and daughters of Fotina to this place. This is a well that will never be, uh, when they drink from this water, it will never, they will never thirst again. And he's saying to this house that I'm supernaturally sending the Antifa sons and daughters to this house to be transformed to the Fortina sons and daughters. Because when they leave this place, they will change cities and they will change na this nation in Jesus' name. As they ride in it, they will worship as they ride in it. We, we call forth this mandate to this house 
This is for such a time as this. You've been seasoned to love these people. When they come into this place, you will love them with the love of Christ. In Jesus' name. We call forth this mandate and we set it on this place in Jesus' name. Wow. Wow. Now all of you lift your hands. See, there's an anointing in the house when we gather. And Father, right now we receive this anointing. We say, a mind to multiply. Say it out loud. A mind to multiply. A mind to gather. Say it out loud. To gather. To gather in. Just say, Lord, give me an anointing to see when to grab hold and bring in. Father, we loose this as the beginning of advancing into this era that you have destined for us to advance into. In Jesus' name, amen.